the Z Turf Trophy handicap chase is next. They're very similar than he named to race two. And this is a three mile 0 to 140 handicap. Top one size in blues, James Shea. Vini talking for Thomas Rogers. Strong Widmore, James Shea, Supreme Cara, John Morgan, Yossi Mythe, Darren Thompson, Big Fat Truth, Craig Beckwith, Bonjour, Paul Rhodes, Christopher's Burner, Ryan Costello, and Steeple Jack Lad, Graham Clutterbuck. So once again, no previous winners in this field. And underneath the big screen, away they go. And bonjour in front for Paul Rhodes. We'll be hoping for a change of look from the second race where he, both of his charges and landed up on the deck. Size in blues. It's just about the leader by a head as they make their way towards the first of the fences. And we see them from the back going over it. Oh, they're all safely over it. The next one should be the water, I think. And it's bonjour just about in front. Yossi Mythe has moved through though now and he's probably going to take it up they're going a somewhat pedestrian pace as they get to the water which they're all safely over as per usual and strong Wigmore's going to turn up being the leader now it looks like Bonjour might be about to claim that position nothing seems all that keen to lead as they get to this ditch and if they don't start going a bit quicker they won't have the impetus to get over the fences but it's Bonjour in front they're going six miles not three but it's Bonjour in front as they get over number four which they are all safely over steeple jack lad is the back marker in those Graham Clutterbuck silks but the lead is now being disputed between Supreme Cara and Bonjour so two of the old giants of SO6 in the lead, trying to see off the new pretenders. And um, Bonjour and Supreme Cara. One and two for Paul Rhodes and John Morgan. Gap back to Yossi Moy for Darren Thompson, who was also a big, big player in SO6 days as they get over number six. As two. Oh, there's one gone there. Christopher's burn is gone. So Ryan Costello's horse is a faller as they race downhill and begin to swing left handed. So one out then. And eight still on their feet. And um, Bonjour is in the lead. So Bonjour leads by two to Supreme Cara in second as they get over number seven. Good jump on the inside there by Sizing Blues. The one that made a mistake was the white-capped Big Fat Truth. So they're making their way towards the next end and pace is quick and maybe just a little bit but it's not particularly quick as they get over number eight and they're all safely over that one with Bonjour's in the lead. Gap off three of all lengths then to Sizing Blues is moving to the second. Supreme Car is third. Then Uini talking and Big Fat Truth together as we get a look from the airship. Or the SO6 blimp, whatever you want to call it, as they come past that little marker there and swing slightly left-handed. And Bonjour is going to take them into this next fence with a lead of probably a good five now. As we go past the ambulance and Watch them skip over this next one, all over that one safely. And bonjour, it is in front. As they come to the next, this will be the last on the next circuit. And a mistake there was by Yossi Mate. And if he jumps like that for the rest of the way around, he won't make it to the next circuit. But he's still on his feet as they swing left handed. And we were momentarily out of the blimp, but now we're going back onto the back of a lorry. So it's Bonjour's in the lead by about three or four. New size in blues in second and Supreme Car in third. Then comes Big Fat Truth and you weenie talking is after that one. Steeple Jack Lad trying to recover from that uh, um, is on the inside. The one recovering from the mistake is Yossi Mythe. And the back marker is Stroll Wigmore as they get down to this next one. And they're all safely over that one and they'll all safely be over the next one as well because it's the water jump for the second time. And Bonjour is going to lead them into it by about three. So a good low shot of them getting over the water then, which they're all safely over. And um, Bonjour continues to lead. Supreme Car has now moved back into second. Sizing Blues is third. Then it's three in a line. You really talking Big Fat Truth and Yossi Mate with strong Wigmore and Steeple Jack Lad keeping themselves company at the back. And all safely over that next one as well. And they're making their way towards the business end of the race then. Just a mile to go near, now nearly as they get over that next one. The uphill fence. And they're all safely over that one with Bonjour in the lead and travelling well from Supreme Cara who's in second then comes Yossi Moth who's moved through nicely into third size in blues is still there big fat truth is making a forward move as well as they come to this big ditch and over it they all go and the leader is only a length to the good now as Supreme Cara is stalking in second so Bonjour in front coming to this next one then gets over that one nicely jumped it really well also moving through there on the inside size in blues is now coming back to challenge they race downhill they've got six furlongs to go and it's Bonjour who's in the lead they've got four more fences left to take as well 
and it's Bonjour in front from Sizing Blue second, then Supreme Car and Big Fat Truth as they get over the fourth last. We see them all over that one. Looks like Steeple Jack Lad might be out of it. Stroll Wigmore's gonna have to sprout wings to win from there, but Bonjour being pushed along there in the lead, racing towards the third. Last, it's a tricky fence. This one leads by a couple of lengths, though. Sizing Blues is second. Over it they go. All got over it nicely. Then on the outside, Supreme Car is coming back into it again. Big Fat Truth is still there. Then Uini talking. Yossi Moth has just dropped away again. Two to take, and just a little more than three furlongs to go. And Bonjour's is still in the lead by about a length and a half to Supreme Car in second. Sizing Blues in third. Then Big Fat Truth, Uini talking, and Yossi Moth as they race now towards the straight and the final two fences. It's Bonjour still in front. Bonjour still got a two length lead from Supreme Car over the second last they go Supreme Car probably jumped it just the better of the two leaders but Bonjour's in front only by three parts of a length now Supreme Car is second over the final fence they go they both landed together they landed well it's Bonjour still just about in front though racing away Supreme Car is trying to wear him down it's Bonjour in front Supreme Car is getting closer with every stride Bonjour trying to stick his head out needs the line Bonjour on the inside Supreme Car on the outside it's gonna be a head bubber as they come up towards the line, it's impossible to split them as they flash past that post. Bonjour's and Supreme Cara who couldn't get anything between the two of them at the end. It was a ding dong finish. That might be the best finish we've had so far this season. You couldn't split those two as they go past the line. There's every possibility that's a dead heat. The graphic says Supreme Cara, but it is in fact a dead heat. That was pretty easy to call as a dead heat, wasn't it? Supreme Cara for John Morgan and Bonjour for Paul Rhodes. Dead heating then for the Z Turf Trophy handicap. Chase in third was Sizing Blues for James Shea. Big Fat Truth for Craig Beckwith was fourth. And Stroll Wigmore for James Shea was fifth.